before I started that my hands are really dry. Like the back of my hands. What's going on with that? But we're here. We're present. Um, hey, besties. Um, hello, ladies. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Hello, Anne. How are you? How you doing? Hello, Dinsta. Hello. And hello, Sarah. Hi. And C. Hello. How are you all doing? Why are you sad, Dinsta? Don't be sad, bestie. You're here now. It's all the good vibes. What's the vibes? You need serious therapy. Uh, me? Oh, not me. Release. Um, I'm literally making a TikTok like as as I am. I was in my um, stream loading screen, so that's terrible of me. Um, hello, Yumi. How are you? Really, that yo, you good? Well, you didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry though, that's spooky. Yeah, how is everyone doing? How was the day? I have a monster. I've also been painting all day, so. I'm feeling the vibes. Um, at least does have plastic set to it, at least burned herself. Um, um, da -da 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 -da. Wait, okay, I'm. What hashtags do I have? Bitch. I always say gamer girl because I feel like cringe. Um, gaming. Small. Yes. And then we're gonna go. But. God. Okay. I did it. I did it. I'm gonna post it. I posted a TikTok just then. Because uh, I'm very fun impression, very fun impression. Oh. Uh, your friend pushed me. What? You get a Polaroid film. They get a Polaroid film. I'm gonna look on the bright side of things. Um, don't be friends with that person anymore though. Not very fun. Not a fun thing to do to your friend. Um, went to the market, but the market was nursery. Drove three hours and went to town for one hour. Oof. Then a market when there was supposed to be market. Disgusting behaviour. Make them put the market down, Zero. Make them do it. You go. Okay. shower my head is not dry quick at all um ever so um i haven't even opened my game yet but you know i'm gonna do that now i think we have a cute little cutscene pretty sure i'm pretty sure we get a cute little cutscene um starting a new case so yeah nice little anime moment um there is also an anime for phoenix right I really want to watch it. I really want to watch it. Uh, but, but the thing is, it kind of takes away from the whole solving and figuring it out because everything happens correctly the first time. You still need to catch up. We did finish beating Swan Lady. I don't know if anyone clipped it, but there was this really funny bit where she like floated away into the sky. It made me absolutely cackle. Um, what is this line of joke? Um, I will put it on my YouTube, but the VOD is still up on Twitch uh, right now. Are you gonna go swim? Oh, have fun swimming! I wish I could swim. Like, I can swim legitimately. Like, I used to do competition, but like... Why is my mic all the way over here? Get it back of here. Okay. I obviously can swim. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I just want to swim. Like, I want a pool. I don't have a pool. You need to watch Game right. You don't! Don't watch it without me! You're not gonna watch it without me. We will watch it later after the Love Island. <sighs> But first it's time to be a detective! You're pulling the back. I am jealous. Why is it capturing my mouse? Disgusting behaviour. Oh wait, is it on? Hello. There we go. That's better. You're busy doing nothing. That's okay, you can just be busy. Being doing nothing is being busy. If you're just chilling, 
It's vibing and taking the time to vibe. That's being busy. Some people tell you we're just doing nothing. Um, that's what, uh, I was thinking, I'm wondering what did the person do to deserve death? Literally, we don't know. I can tell you that now. We never know why she does it. At least in this case. I don't know if he comes back into play at a later time. But we don't know. Pushing the band live? We're going to try to. We're going to try to. I'm going to try to get to a good stopping point. I don't like your face after you say you would never, babes. <laughs> oh, but I, I've got my eye on you, babes. I can't zoom in on this screen. It's so sad. I wish I had my zoom still. Stop playing with me. Yes. Show me pretty cutscene. Boat. After everything? Yeah, we have no clue. Because she's British and she, it goes into a secret court. In the corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. Sholmes? In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Sholmes sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the Listen. darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, the and gone. the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words, the speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which you referred, Wilson. In front of us Snick. was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened Bunny. to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, there's, um, there's rules underneath the stream if you just want to, like, refresh yourself on it. Um, just, just so you know, like, what you can and can't really say, you know? Did I get a video? I do! So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. It literally looks like it's been tampered with. In his final moments, the victim scored a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. <gasps> so, the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed. Suggesting he was Compass Mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. What the heck is that? Why has he got a gun? He's got a gun! Ah! This paper seal was placed oh. just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well. What have we here? <laughs> Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? You that's that's right. Right. No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait. Shh. We must that wait. Won't be necessary. You see, in less than five no, seconds from down now, calling it now. <laughs> I will reveal the killer to you. <laughs> what? <gasps> D don't be absurd. This is murder. I need cabin locked from inside. I like his voice. Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. Yes, you did. Hello. Hi. How are you? You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? Please don't say he's a great Herlock British Holmes. consultant detective. The only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume. They no. can't do that. He's hot, but he, they can't do that. Herlock Sholmes? Herlock Sholmes? Mind? Right. <laughs> You're good? I'm glad. I'm good too. I am, I am zing 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 from the monster and I am, I am ahead on my painting. Feeling very good, fun and fresh. My head is throbbing. This, Ryan is okay? Oh. Get me? 
Something's not right here. It's trouble in the air. Am I going to be in a boat on a courthouse? Courthouse boat. Courthouse boat. Boat. Court. Am I going to be in a courthouse on a boat? This is... Wait. I, I can't move. <laughs> I have arms! I've never had arms before! No, I, didn't. I did! I did. I liked it. And I liked the comment. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had handcuffs. Hmm. Pick up now, hmm? Oh, this is the... Um, do we get accused of another murder? Are you pissing me? Did I actually just get accused of another murder on a boat? I swear to God if he accused me of the murder of that guy and I have to defend myself again, I'm going to beat someone up. You also talk like a Russian person, like, we had to drag you out of the wardrobe. <laughs> Do not believe how you could not wake up. You are too cold-blooded, man. You. Ugh. Tell me then. Ugh. Don't. Now you pay. Criminal. Eh? How long are you hiding in a tiny wardrobe, hmm? Ugh. Sorry. Why is he on a boat? I don't, I don't know. He's just apparently on a boat and now, now you have been found. This is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is, hmm? No, oh, no, I'll tell you everything. Is there any one thing I'd like to know from you? Ah. Yes! Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Bro, I didn't, I, I'm not getting accused of another murder right now. I am not. I will after the stream, I will. Mrs. Otto. Wait, what did you just say? Hey, life? Oh. Where? Where is he? Where's Kazuma? You pretend you do not know? You are a wolf in sheep's belt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? Eh? <laughs> the hot guy's dead? Kasuma Sawa was. Zuma's body was discovered not long ago. Okay, cool. We got a best friend. He's dead. Headband guy's dead. Headband sword man, dead. Ah! There's his sword! Here in this very cabin that was bolted shut from the inside. His, his body? Please. Do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? We write it in. We write it in right now, girlies. Oh, ah! He can't be. And these handcuffs. Surely you don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Azuma Sama's life? I didn't, bitch. I was in the wardrobe, apparently. <laughs> what the... Answer me, please. I didn't kill... No. No! Ah! Same bestie. I'm feeling the exact same way right now. What the actual shit is going on? Kazuma. It was just two short weeks ago. Did he tell me the favor? Are you sure about this? When we get in trouble? <laughs> Didn't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come to England with me to study? Oh my god, no, he stowed you away and then he died. Ooh, that's a bit awkward. Oh yeah, because it does take like two weeks to, to get through the channel and stuff. And little kittens today on the street, you can bring them up. No, did you take them to like a vet nearby or anything? Or what happened to them? I love I love kittens so much. The way that Russian creamer just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was gonna die. Yes, I still can't quite believe that. 
He can't, I, I got stowed on in a, in a suitcase. I really think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. You must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. But if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Ugh, I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. For a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant, Mikotoba, you mean? From your close friend, more to the point. Surely she would have confided in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about it. Oh, you're pissed! <sighs> it's illegal! Babes, babes, you're trying to be a little bit of a lawyer, you know, and you are doing very illegal things. <laughs> I don't think he cares. He has a sword in court, you know. You must have died in episode two and you get blamed for it. Where have I seen that before? Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Mia Faye. Mia Faye. Hello? Hmm. I suppose so. Anyway, it's about time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. Anyway, compared to hiding inside my travelling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. I tell you what, why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? What? They were in the garden, but I don't know if they live there, but I'll try to find them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, just check up and see if they're okay. Does that mean he's have any clothes? Apparently, or I was just like, they were like folded around me in the shape of me and I was like, you know, in the suitcase. I don't know. I know how I feel though. I don't know. And then we still got the piece of paper. And then he did the thing and he saw the outline of me in the- Ah! Oh! We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. Leave your next port. Stay quiet until then. Do not make more trouble. Murderer. Ah! No, I'm not a murderer. Stop. You said before. You said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did sell away on the ship, but... Murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. No! I'm not lying. Um, Suzuki-san? Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you, too. Ugh. Eyes. It's ready to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try and find out what really happened. Okay. Okay, we're doing the talky thing. The sailor creeps me out. The sailor creeps me out. He's, he's very angry at me, just for like... I mean, I guess you, the logical assumption would be that I did it, but also it's not logical because I'm his best mate, so why would I be murdering him, you know? Is it going to be the sailor with the glasses? Where is he at? Mmm. I don't know, but I want to talk to Herlock Sholmes. Where is he? Is he his death? Okay. He really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. In these handcuffs. They think I did it. They think I'm Kazuma's killer. When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. How did they get in then? Oh, they broke the lock? Oh. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via the porthole window, and the bolt of the door can't operate from the outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped those four walls. What? There's a vent. There's a vent right there. There's a vent right behind my head. Wait, hold on. There's a vent! There's a vent there! We're gonna through the vent. Yep. I feel like the guy would be able to slice him with the sword. Literally! Thank you for the light, this video. Thank you, thank you! I said vent, I didn't even think of it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! But he has some other explanation. Like, <laughs> did the murder possibly 
the murder possibly, you know, then? Why didn't my thing move with it? That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny the charge? Even despite the circumstances? Please, Sato, you have to tell me. Okay, I'm just gonna make an observation straight off the bat for something that will probably get brought up in court. Is that everything has fallen over this way? Like the boat's obviously rocking. All of my books have fell over that way. All of the things on the floor have fell over that way. Has the lock not simply slid into the locked position with the boat rocking? Has it not simply slid into the locked position and made it look like it was locked and not tampered with? But it was actually just the, the boat rocking and it slid the lock into the thing. I'm waiting for that to come up at some point. What time did I call you this morning? It's a very important question. I don't understand how big previous game is. It's insane. You have to be thinking about these things, babes. It's so fun. I love it. Um, What time? It was like... 11 midday-ish the cause of death is still undetermined i didn't know how he died the ship's doctor is examining the body but of course he has no post-mortem analysis for experience i don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert is consulted on our next port of call <gasps> am i constantly in different courtrooms but the handle is made out of gold shoulder that's heavy i guess But if it's super heavy and greased really well, that's even more reason that when the boat rocked it would slot it was really slot into place, you know what I mean? Like if it's really heavy, it would go bonk, and then back it would go bonk when the boat rocked. If it was heavy, if it was light, it probably wouldn't move as like you know, like the weight physics. Weight, gravity, bonk, you know? Oh no. It's true, yes. Yeah, because everything's fallen over that way. Everything. So, can anyone tell me what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Yes. But if you say you were here in the cabin after all. Oh, yes, I was, but... He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin as I have every day so far on this voyage. But this morning he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead once Zutan arrived at his cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewman forced the cabin door open, and when he managed to get inside... There was Kazuma-sama, collapsed on the floor. Since you like be so big for so you might get this game. It's really fun. It is really fun. I'd recommend it. I'm turning into the prosecution of no. <laughs> that can be it. I can argue with you. You're, the, you're my prosecution. You're my rival. And the white tape there shows how exactly he was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. <gasps> Did he get given sleeping pills or some shit? I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me too, trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know, it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, all right. Ugh, my head feels so heavy. Still throbbing like anything. Did he get hit on the head? Okay, still away. Why are you even on board this ship, Norahoda san? You said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I have no idea. Why would he sleep in the closet? Like, surely he was sure about to go. They probably did share the bed, but because the cleaning lady was supposed to come that morning, he said, he said, oh, hide in the wardrobe. Um, and when she comes in, uh, put like a keep outside on the wardrobe so she doesn't open it. Uh, but over then, obviously, he got murdered. Which we're really, I feel like we're really glossing over. We're really just casually talking right next to where his dead body just was. Like, I feel like I would not want to be in the same room where my best friend just sort of got murdered. Really calmly, chained, knowing I didn't do it. Just being like, so, how did it happen? I wouldn't- 
Murder by the Cleaner? Maybe, but again, motive. But the thing is, what I'm thinking with this game, I don't think I ever get to find out the motive because I don't know why that English professor got killed by that English woman. She killed him. I don't know why. They wouldn't tell me. So, like, am I just not going to find out why Kazuma got murdered? This He did. Like, but how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's cabin for so long without him noticing? No, 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 that would have been impossible, obviously. Room was also too messy. Literally, yeah, like... All this stuff is knocked over. I don't get it. Yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. I wanted his best to go with him. <gasps> goop, goop, goop. How are you, Goop? How you doing? I don't understand. But don't you understand? That's my best friend. He's a real bear bitch. Got his own money. You know? Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you? Hey, Bessie. Thanks for being alive. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. Yeah, see, everything stood up in this flashback. Everything stood up. All the books and, and the statue are. Everything on the desk is stood up. The case is there. Where's the case gone? You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. I'm Swag. I apply for a friendship. Um, has been put on the pre-employment program. Yo! He's studying law. What else are you going to do? Literally, he can become, well, a defense lawyer, like, pros like prosecutor. Uh, a judge or like something outside of a courtroom but like he's his last name is right he's gonna become a defense lawyer like well that's something you can decide for yourself london is at the spearhead of cultural development the center of the world in many ways there can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes can there well no definitely not but on a personal level if you were to become a lawyer then Then what? Nothing. Get it. Bitch! Ah! Uh, I'm make myself a little bit bigger. Wait. Look! Hey, Mesties! Because even Summer is. He's always saying the same thing. That you wanted to change the Japanese legal system. I just think about the plan was here. Like the dude has a study credential that they think he could add a plus one to that. <laughs> Apparently, you just thought, fuck the government. Come with me on the boat. That's illegal. And I obviously will not lose any like integrity as a lawyer when I do this. So just like come with me. No? <laughs> if that's the lawyer. Perhaps he thought he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. Something's still bothering me a little. <laughs> Gotta go off! Oh, one less two for today! You have a nice rest of your day though. Go to sleep, you have a good rest of your day. Bye bye! A look in his eyes then. It's darker than I've ever seen it before. What is it, Elise? What is it? Oh, sorry that we kept it a secret from you, my stunning way on this ship, I mean. Here we go again, my demo of kind of slaps. I haven't heard it. I'll listen to it after. If I know Kazuma Summer, I expect he was trying to protect me to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's, that's exactly right, yes. Word perfect, in fact. Okay. There's like a nail on the floor or some shit. Like, I don't know what's going on over there. If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is... I don't really remember. You're in the pool! No! I will listen to it. I will, I will. <laughs> Kazuma brought me something to eat just like he always did. And then I got myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I fell asleep. Ah, uh, well, 
Yes. Did he poison him? Not poison him. So, like, sedate him? So do you think he didn't even stow him because Uma-sama was killed? Uh, well, yes. Do you believe me? I know it sounds unbelievable, really. I do, but it's the truth. Let me have these bitches! If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I would have been in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Subscribe, you don't want ads! <laughs> talk to talk, bitch. Oh! Um, something wrong. Oh, she's this way. Oh. Uh, no, it's. Please, forget it. Santa san, you have to believe me, I didn't do it. Esti, listen to me. I, I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there's no one who could possibly have done this. Ugh. Okay. So I guess the first part of court is me proving that someone could get into the cabin. And then... Huh? Huh? Or use that black. Or... Okay. You know what? Okay, wait, I need to make myself some horror game. Too much. Why did this have to happen? Ugh, I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. Sorry. Kazuma was killed right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free. No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Yeah! What the? That was a Sato takedown. I'm upside down. I saw my invitation in all of these plus one. I get to see them. Yeah! <laughs> At least, oh, I have been so. Oh, look. Okay, okay. Thank you for the luck. Bonk. So, 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 what? What sharp form is that? I, I'm, my head hurts being upside down. I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry, prove it? Yes. Your innocence. I need evidence. But how am I supposed to? You got one already? What you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself. Keep keeping the investigation. Yes! Ah, I see. You expect me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Sutton Sun to believe me. I'll show her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty of this awful crime. This is the paper seal I wrote for the wardrobe. I remember really working hard to make it, but I'll never forget how Kazuma reacted. Do you expect the Russian crew to be able to read that? He said. Still, I was sure people would get the idea, even if they couldn't read it. So we used it anyway. And it worked. I know if the crew thought it was a creepy old war, but no one opened the doors. Okay. Yes! Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? All kind of warm? Swaggy. Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. Thought so. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. He slept in the wardrobe. They didn't share a bed. I should do one of those no stuff. <laughs> yes! Please, that's so funny. Time is gaslighting. The police girl bosses and the government gate keeps the law and sent to the prison. It all comes full circle! Ah! <laughs> Just in case the cabin shooter and the crew member decided to look inside, so naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah. Oh. Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors. Oh, he opened it. If I were truly the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, 
it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. He's just upside down the whole time, like, bitch, I didn't do it. Like, at least this isn't your apartment, like, someone in the closet. <laughs> oh my god. Can she help me up now? I'm tired of being upside down. It's hurting my eyeballs. Well, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor. I can see why Kazuma Sama thought so highly of you. Thank you. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up right now? Uh, oh, the thing is that, okay, okay. Um, well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here, at least. Thank you. You finally believe me. Sorry. No. Bitch! <laughs> What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you used some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. <laughs> I'm not a witch! You are! You see spirits and shit. Okay, like... What do you think I am, a magician? For now, I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. Alright, let's get to work, Sato san Please don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. I shall be watching you to make sure you do not know anything that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Right. Well, anyway, I should be starting investigating in here. Because I'm everything I can. Zuma, I swear. I will avenge your death. Okay. Okay, I want- Hello! Oh, he's stopping me from leaving. What's this? There are rules of passage to travel aboard the SS Burya. Why is he just there? This is one! Hello! Hi! How are you? How are you doing? Like, you know when things are falling, you shut the door so it doesn't. It's true to me- uh. ah! I thought it said SS Bunda! It says Bunda! <laughs> It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers on board. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. He has a sword on the floor. There's a sword on the floor. What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. You're more of a dangerous object or a pet. Can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. Hey. Oh dear. How I do. Oh! What's the matter, Zato san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused I forget to look around properly. Ah, yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard. Are you, Naruhodo san? Okay. I'm sure you're careful to look all around using BM, aren't you? Yeah, I have a sick time using them actually. It's pretty good. Love it quite a lot. Do the time on the floor breaks the rules, right? Literally does. Yes. It, yeah, I'm gonna investigate that next. Let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Okay, bestie. Yes, let's do that. Because my field of vision has been rather small until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been able to move around at all. I've been behind the bench the entire time. That's because Umasan's precious sword. You never went anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on his trip. I suppose that's just how important it was to him. And now he's gone. I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. Am I gonna have a sword? One mustard and baguette with some chips or bead drink mustard. Or see, go buy nachos. 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 See. Okay. Chicken! Knife. That's my dinner from last night, a roast chicken. It was really tasty. It was very delicious, wasn't it? But do we eat on the floor here? I'm not a dog, Sasato san. I ate at the table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. The boat rocked! Because even someone didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right, so he didn't touch. Awfully convenient that I was the only one who liked chicken, therefore ate a chicken 
that had something to do with making me fall asleep so heavy that probably sedated me. Chicken sedation. So he obviously wouldn't eat the chicken so then someone could come in and murder him. Which went all the more for me. Oh no, does, does that mean... Well, because he must have spent his last night on his earth with an empty belly. Just too horrible. Ugh, I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. Looks at that. Dead body. Did, did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Someone's just changed it to look like a weird bee. Right? Like you can see the old marks on the on the last one. <gasps> Yo, I'm a bee! Hi! I hope you're doing swag. How are you doing? I'm really good. Yeah! Chicken sedation. Chicken sedation! <laughs> The cook did it because he was salty of the diet choices. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly it was the cook and now we're gonna prove it. AP B It's not the other way around because the E's right around the P is, but I think the one on the end, um, the one that looks like a weird B, I think was a five and they've added on like the, the bit at the start, you know what I mean? Doing all right, good. Yeah, up a four or five. I think it's that. <laughs> oh! I suppose he writes his message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor oh, Kazuma-sama. That he was in a terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments. Was he? Sorry, partner. I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's Japanese now, I heard of Sam. What? Then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Mm, desk. This is where dear kazuma san would have sat whenever he was writing. Is she in love with him? Is it Russian? It could be Russian! Someone look at Google Translate! Google Translate! <laughs> Google Translate, right now. London Diary. Oh, poor Kazuma. He even make it to his destination. Looks as though his last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened? Let's see what it says. Could be a valuable clue. Aya! That's out of the question. What? Kazuma Sama may have departed from this world, but you do not read his private thoughts. What if it's something important, something relevant to the case? All right, all right. I won't read it. What the hell? That could be vital evidence, babes, and you'll just stop me. Oh, Kazuma Summer. I don't like Brian feels personal matters either. But in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? Books. The books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. Have they now? All toppled the same way. Let's see, I hate to tell this, but he is dead. He gives zero shits about this, babe. Let me look at the book. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. It's almost as like the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. I wonder if... Perhaps it was Kazuma-sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? I seriously doubt it. Bye bye bye! Yo! And perhaps it was you, Narahada-san, in a fit of rage. No, you said that 20 minutes ago. Oh no. Why? Oh, books! Statue? Bah! No. I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books in the statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Am I not the smartest fucking Person. The lock slid into and made it look, made it look like it was locked from the inside, but it wasn't actually locked from the inside. I've cracked the case, babes. 
cracked the case. Watch them be falling over again when we come back in and it'll be the boat rocking, literally. What's this? What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever that thing was, it appears to have broken clean in two. Sword! Guess those already. I've already solved it, babes. Look, that's such a beautiful colour. Looks like a cute little Natsuki fastener of a kimono outfit. Sexy lady somewhere on the boat. Hello. I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him. Would he? Hmm. The mark beside it. What was it, I wonder? It has sort of a brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. So something got dragged on the floor. It is the colour of brick, isn't it? No, I don't see anything of the same colour anywhere else in this cabin. Mm. Isn't that tampering with the crime scene? Yes. I don't know what year it is, but apparently that's okay. Um. Vent. I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator. Hey. Beautiful! It came late, there's a delay, but it's okay. All through which the fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator. If that's what it is, it looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Have you thinking about the hydrate? I only have one, so I'm really sorry. I. Do I have water in my bottle? I have a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry for screaming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Holly, how are you? How are you doing? What's going on? If its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm. It's true. Perhaps it's so that the rain and spray don't find their way in when the seas are rough or something like that. I suppose. Maybe that's it. I'm sorry. What is man's doing? What is he doing? Seems awfully. Seems awfully, you know. Suspicious. I do that for myself. I'm sorry, I had to get it on time. That is not permitted. <laughs> as I can tell you, let's see. You might be European. European. That's a song in it. I don't know how the song goes at all, though. Oh, how did he to the vent? Please say he came to the vent. You Notice the man too. Have you? I have no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. Wow. I heard a son. Don't tell me. You really don't know who that is? Oh, uh, well. No, I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. You have a series on BBC? Oh my god, maybe. I love Herlock Sholmes. It's great. I love it. Coming back when I'm on my PC, phone delay sucks. Oh, yeah, that's fine, Polly. Thank you, thank you. And you're good. This is so the the cloud music i'm sorry i can put it down um but um ah you're gonna go oh you're gonna shoot oh bye Elise. Ba, 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 ba. um um but yes yes one delay the like a member of the crew there's something very unusual about him and is he investigating kazuma's desk or is he playing on it oh 
Well, in that case, we simply must talk to him. Okay, let's talk to him now, see. Why guys, smelly? Imagine he's just, he's died. Yeah, he has died. I really want him to say he came through the vent. I really, really do. Um, I just think that would be the, the, the icing on the cake for me. Is he the <laughs> Am I just imagining it or does the hand look almost uncontrollably excited? Probably excited, babes. I think. By the way, I expect you've noticed already, but just in case, if you press space on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. Oh! Alright then. I'll get the suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do. I want to look at the other stuff first. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm going to leave him there. So you're... Okay, okay. I go look. me out oh no someone took his hand and ratted me out that russian that word on the floor that i thought was like a five or some shit says wardrobe in russian rat me out someone rat me out it wasn't him because he was probably you know dead but i think someone used his hand and was like ha, 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 wardrobe you know yes this is it's a bell contraption i think you mean contraption? I'm just language. Yes, yes. I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon servants. Really? That sounds almost magical. Huh? They speak Russian. These these guys then they're, they're Japanese. They don't they barely like understand like English as well. They're learning English. I'm pretty sure that's part of it. I'm gonna go shop. That's okay. Natural a monster. Hell yeah, baby. Um, but they don't speak Russian. Um, Kazuma doesn't speak Russian. So someone wrote it, probably thinking he was Russian and it would make sense. It's suspicious. Can you see that? Yeah, baby. Well, okay, welcome to Phoenix Wright is attorney. It's not Phoenix Wright anymore though, because Phoenix Wright isn't in this game. He doesn't exist yet. He's not been born. Um, he wrote it in Russian? Exactly. He can't be Russian. He's not Russian. He's Japanese. And he only knows Japanese and a little bit of English. I'm really just leaving that guy on the desk in the background. I don't know what he's doing over there, but I was talking about bell cords with my bestie, so... Oh, my bestie's dead. I'm talking about it with this... this person. Can we give it a little try? Yes! In the interest of cultural research, obviously. I suppose nobody comes to the Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just that everyone's busy, that's all. Aww. Ink pot? Trunk. I'm leaving it there. That's not like it was a Mississippi. <laughs> ah! It's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Like the fact I stowed away onto this boat inside of it and got thrown about like a piece of meat. Memories? What do you mean? Well, it's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on board inside that case. <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, you're back there. Hi, bestie. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? We are starting a new case, babes. And uh, our best friend, you know the guy with the headband? He was with us last time? Dead. Dead. Dead on the floor. I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which in hindsight I should have realised the foreign crewman wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh dear. I think a sewer isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well it was less painful than a Sasato takedown. Come on, clip me <laughs> Yeah? Yes! Oh my god, yeah, no, so wait. I'm not looking at that guy yet. He's dead! Kazuma! Sexy man! Dead. He was on his way to London for a study tour when he was taken from this world. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, you can stay on the desk still. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman makes at the scene of the crime. Uh, excuse me. 
But uh, it was very really hard going, the investigation, I mean. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes. But it's not true, I see. Alright. He's assessing a lot of that. Literally! Criminal asking investigator for information about this crime? Very funny. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. It doesn't have to be laughing either. It's convinced you're guilty. Criminal? Criminal. You might have use useful information, I have to keep trying. So, last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Oh, he did. Yet? Of course not. Now back to the corner of room and make silent. I send no more to you. Yeah, no. Just for a minute there, you seemed a little flustered. He's Russian, yeah, he's Russian. I'm not just doing the accent for funsies, he is Russian. <laughs> hey, I can look at this. What is the chair? Seiki, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like the zoomer. Yes, his clear copy always was a reflection of his heart. Straight. Yet yeah, you, can you really look at this character without feeling shame knowing he drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can. Also about Kay and Jonah, but I agree Russian. Yeah, 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 they said they were Russian at the start. They said they were Russian. Because uh, it's a Russian ship. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Even though you stayed away on the ship? You ain't gonna bring that up, are you? I can't win. Okay, okay. Have I looked at everything apart from the man on the desk? I want to have looked at absolutely everything possible before I look at him. Okay. It's some two weeks since you set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, narrowhead san Thank you for the luck, Ruby. Gilly just go bossing. Pretty woman in court. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I suppose not. Although it must have been rather exciting making this voyage in your own secret hideout. Trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I basically did have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. Because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. No. Sadly not. Okay, have I exhausted every other option apart from him? Yes. Okay. Alright. It's me. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Shh. This is a critical point in my investigation. In a boot, hell you. Mm. Hawk? My mic made a funny noise. Maybe I should leave him alone. He's a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Ah! Exactly. I agree. Christ. <laughs> ah! Uh, what exactly were you doing in Kazuma's desk just now? Oh no, he's hot! I feel like the Squidward thing. Please don't be hot, please. Please, what are you looking at me like that for? Ah, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry, what do you see? Looks like he's looking right through me. Oh, yes, everything is clear now. A train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You? I've been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. He's really tall. Ah! Sorry, what? And now, whilst venturing towards foreign climes, you find yourself in the most troubling predicament. Oh, well, that's true, at least. But, but how? How the deuce did I know that, perhaps? It was really most elementary deduction. Hardly worth explaining. 
Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? And of course, a great many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam, for example. You have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. I thought I came from... I thought I came from... Afghanistan a minute ago. You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. Eh? And when the bur very boned occupant of this very cabin very boned discovered your identity, you ended this life too. I can't do a London accent. Yes, I believe this summarizes the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Nothing deceives these eyes. You're in goggles. Uh, just to be clear, you are talking about me, aren't you? Certainly I am. What is this? What am I supposed to be feeling right now? Do I just like feel what kind of... <sighs> See another cabin... Another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? Let me see one person who fits the bill. This guy. This this guy is either the less hot gumshoe of this game or just a crackhead. Yeah, yeah, less hot gumshoe. Gumshoe way fitter than this bitch. <laughs> he's. I think he's the detective of this game basically, and he's just like stupid, like like gumshoe. It's true. It was you who did this to consume the salmon. What? And you're plotting revolution too. Shameful behaviour in our own side. Absolutely wicked. No. Listen, there's no way I- Yeah! Oh my god, can you not do this? Please, please, I don't want to be upside down. Explain yourself, tell me everything. This is ridiculous. Please let me stand up. I got bonk. Bonked, babes. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forget. And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Ah, was I not right? Whilst venturing toward foreign climates, you do find yourself in the most troubling predicament. Do you not? Well, yes, maybe. Ah, there you have it, you see. What do you make of that, hmm? Well, to be honest... This ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So, I'm not really sure you could call it a deduction. It's more plain observation. Indeed, an observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. A method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. And more often than not, I'm right. <sighs> I don't think you introduce yourself. Oh, my apologies. How remiss of me. None other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over. He's hot! Ah! Inimitable! Herlock Shones! It's Herlock from the hit movie Herlock Gnomes! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, literally why? Why is... <laughs> How are they getting away with that? How are they getting away with calling him Herlock Shones? Literally. So, it's really you, the actual Herlock Sholmes. I mean, you can do anything he is pretty privileged. Literally! Yeah. Very same, the imitable actual Herlock Sholmes. Okay. Do you know this man, Sudasan? The most famous detective in the world? Never heard of Sudasan? Of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on then? We must ask him what he's deduced. You would have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel so uneasy about this? Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I can already feel how long this case is gonna take me. You can get the rest of the public domain. <laughs> R.I.P. So you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Indeed, I am none other than the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see. You're German? Herlock, was it? No, no, I have no her. I mean, hair. Please call me Sholmes. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh, yes, Rants Magazine. Full of wonderful short stories and interesting articles of Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I have it sent from England especially. Ah, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Herlock called the Japanese student a Russian assassin with 16 victims. He doesn't seem that great. No, really doesn't. Really, just not really hitting the, fit the bill here, you know? So you're the protagonist in a series of short stories then? Indeed I am. And you've read so many of your own stories you start to think you really are a detective? Make no mistake, I'm not the poor deluded fellow you take me for. Your inference is backward. Backward? My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in a magazine. You have a biographer? Do you? It's an everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson. Presently keeping shop in London. Presently. Whoops. Dr. Wilson. Natural time! Yo! I must say, thanks to the publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. By this very moment, I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of the cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this one seriously or not. Wilson is Watson. Yeah, Dr. Watson. Dr. Wilson. Literally. Deduction, you see, to me is a science. Logical reasoning is purest form. Science? Really? I don't like this guy. The astute observer notices even the most subtle of reactions from his subject. Yeah, a furtive glance, a twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin. All these things are data. Right. Are we just making fun of- is, is Capcom just making fun of, like, of, of, of Sherlock Holmes? Like, is this what I'm watching right now? And the trained edition makes deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago, how can you look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have a turn of both observation and for deduction and fear. That is what makes me the one and only her, no, her luck shows. That was five minutes. Have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet? I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow. Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in his most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, I see. In other words... I'm in these now because of him. There's all we mama. When I became anxious about Kazuma-san this morning, I summoned all of the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I conceal myself among their members. Getting into the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective, Herlock Sholmes, was on board. And the handcuffs seemed to be an excellent fit, Mr. Narahoda. <gasps> Bella! No, I remember, I remember your name. Did I have two Bellas? I'm trying to think because I have two people who have the same name. Well, hello. How are you? How are you doing? When was the last time you came to a stream? Oh, hi, bestie. We're doing the new uh, Ace Attorney game. Uh, we'll be detectives, babes. We'll be detectives. Bella's toilet could never. Toilet really couldn't. Um, <laughs> I got. It's, it's okay. It's okay, Anne. Ah! I know why I just yelled. I do because it said it on the game. The very moment Alan was on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Oh. Ah! Okay. He talks.
talks for so long. That was two minutes. Okay, two facts. Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please. What two facts are apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah, yes, but first let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand, but what were they? Allow me to elute, elucidate, elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape from the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Hold on, Mr. Jones, what made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. It's in Russian. Uh, that is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, you really think that Kazuma-san would have left the dying message in Russian? He doesn't know Russian, babes. In the final moments, may we find the native tongue filling their head for this young man, Russian. Kazuma was Russian, was he? When am I going to blast this man? When am I going to put him on blast for just lying? Please, I want to put him on blast. <laughs> Initially, I considered... Garderob. Maybe the name of the killer. A certain Robert Gard, perhaps. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there at least. But well, you found Miss Narahoda sleeping soundly. Welcome back, Polly! Welcome back. Quite so. Oh, what food did you get, by the way? I want to know what, you, what food you got, because I, I can feel hungry and I'm like trying to think if I want. I, I think I want popcorn after. I finished streaming. That's what I want. <laughs> I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. I am Japanese and I am trained to be a lawyer, so... Why is it that I'm Russian too? I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, the outfit in is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Us uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I, I had no idea. And I had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze for the possible hidden details. <gasps> Can I have the photos? He's dead. He looks bad. This? This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, because he had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like that. That's his blind speaking Russian. Deaf. <laughs> they're all speaking Japanese to each other and they're just like, he's Russian! <laughs> You're alright, Mr. Narrowheader? Oh, um, yes, thank you. Yeah! Okay. Russian word for wardrobe in purple ink, it would appear that it's written in the victim's family. Oh. Can I ask you something, Mr. Shams? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fierce and revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all that. Ah, yes, the train of reasoning led me to the truth. Do you mind explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? Eh? Certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian and I don't speak Russian. Does he? I. Reason where, Bestie? Bestie, where was the reason? <laughs> Um, have we talked about your deduction before? The things you complained about me, I mean. Am I get when am I telling him he's like? Like, when am I telling him he's a jean Pell Big Fat Liar because I really want to do it? Um, so I need, I need him to, you know. Hold on. Now famously accurate, troubling predicament you find yourself in. Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part. Ah, yes, the more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Revolutionary Vila Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. This vessel made a port call at Shanghai yesterday, and last night, the young Russian was murdered. So was Kazuma a Russian? Vera, hi! You could translate? Wait, what did he just say then? Yo! But yeah, dearie, we just started um, a new case. Um, Bestie's dead. This guy. He, he died. 
Um, and that's his outline of his body on the floor down there. Uh, we got stowed away on the boat with him. You know, he was going to London. We got stowed away on the boat. Um, we woke up in the wardrobe. And we've been accused of murdering him again. I think he said, of course. I couldn't read really, it uh, longer. And it, of course sounds like it would be right. I think, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense in the context. Unlike his deduction that I'm a Russian. Um... Sounds like Mr. Shones doesn't he was Russian because of the Kazuma Simon wrote on the floor. Of what? Blah, 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 blah. It was a simple act of reasoning to realise the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you. Vilim Bolshevik. Do I look like that man? No, no, no. How could it be me? I don't look anything like this man. Just look at his face! Oh. Or a first and revolutionary after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learnt to revolutionise your appearance as well. Ugh, please. I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. Great. We'll never see his headband flowing in the still air again. Ever. In real time. No! No, not the way. Not the, not the random wave of wind that constantly kept them blowing. I'll miss it, really. I wish on his dead body they'd still been flapping, because that would have been really fucking funny, I think. Except for the part where he was dead. That wouldn't have been that funny, but you know the other parts. That's one interesting case, holy heck. Literally, yeah, so we yeah, we were a stowaway. We got brought on in this suitcase down there. Um, and we were sleeping in the wardrobe when he was murdered. We were just asleep in the wardrobe. Uh, and we'd put a keep out sign on the wardrobe in Japanese, but obviously the boat is um, Russian. It's... Um, a Russian, um, they, they, they own the boat. So all of the staff are, I think, from Russia. So they didn't know what the message meant. Um, but yeah, I just slept in the wardrobe apparently the whole time and ate chicken. So we're trying to figure out what the fuck happened because obviously he didn't write this message. So there's a, uh, they're saying Kazuma wrote a message on the floor which you can kind of see down there. Wait, I have, I have a photo of it. There you go. Um, he wrote this message on the floor um when he was dying uh, and it says wardrobe in russian so he's not russian he doesn't know russian so why is he writing russian when he's dead he didn't i think he, someone either used his hand to write it or someone just placed his hand on it to make it look like he wrote it apparently it was good chicken though apparently it was really good chicken so you know 60 victims of assassination blowing up the crystal tower Ah, yes. The journalist clearly interviewed the man and painted all those particular parts in the article. <laughs> the deeds the man has perpetrated this far and those he's plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here in the article. Bolshevik has recently returned from a, after a period of subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. Who even is that, anyway? It's Afghanistan place. Here, take the paper for yourself. As a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, uh, thank you. Hello, Plasma, how are you? Hi! How you doing, bestie? Didn't the doom misspell the word and the actual bit has the actual murder fingerprints on it? I like your thinking! I like your thinking! Um, yeah, average? Well, I'm glad you're not completely bad then. I'm sorry that it's just average. Um, I'm good. I am enjoying this case already. I'm already trying to figure things out. It's really fun. I really like it. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying talking to you guys as well. It's really fun. Um, I was all as it interests me within these pages, but I need I see no rubbish bin nearby. Okay, oh I've got revolutionary. It's been added to the court record. And you may find the article on the back of the page of interest as well. On the back? Pass your eyes over it sometime if the interest takes you, though you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. Polly, Polly, you got this. <laughs> um couldn't hope to read it. I see. You don't know. We got assistance in the chat, bibs. We got assistance. I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there's a picture or two. Okay. Can I actually read it? Okay. 
Who this lady? Ballerina. Ooh. This is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Naruhoda san? Well, no, I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I. But look at this picture. Pretty lady! Probably about to go on trial to testify. <laughs> you stopped in quick, but I gotta go have a good stream. Oh, thank you for stopping in and saying hello, though. I really appreciate it, Pastor. I'll see you again soon. I want to meet her. She's very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, don't you? I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, I'm glad you've noticed this article. Ah! Hi! Hey, Misty! Ah! Allow me to... Hey, Misty! <laughs> I'll just give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. You thought of everywhere this, Mr. Sherms. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Nova Novovich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Welcome home! If she's on the boat, then she's the killer. Yes. It would appear the woman in was a costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room, wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth 20,000 rubles. Oh. How much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea. But I'm quite sure it must have been an unbelievable sum of money. Suta-san's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of Novovich Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself with worry. Yes, I'm not surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. They requested international assistance at all ports when sailing to Great Britain. Could this be another case of Russians fleeing a Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be a Russian thing to do. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response, Mr. Narada. What the fuck? The article about the ballerina has been added to the court record. <laughs> we ate even the purple penguin was the least. So far I can read to the bottom, Tiara, for 20,000 rubly money. Oh. What's the bit at the top? Is that saying that she's missing, basically? Oh. And then this one says about him. The Wi-Fi sucks. I'm sorry, your Wi-Fi sucks. Ooh, okay, now we have two newspaper articles and one last thing to talk to me about. Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Ah, yes, the victim. Well, oh! Do you know something useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desk with the victim. Uh, was he reading it? You see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Kazuma was giving notes of the trip. Ah, but... I don't think you should read his private writings. It would upset people. Tragic. Something you ought to perhaps eludicate before the act of reading. You... I mean, you've read it already? It is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you're about to know what a Susuto takedown is. She doesn't care. She gives her a shit. Do you want to watch Showcase Oh yeah, 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 we can watch Given. Uh, I got Elisa uh, to watch uh, Given with me. We're on like episode four or five right now. And it's very good. I think Christian is fine. He left him on the desk for a little while. He did have a chance to read that. He really did. Hey, um, bestie. Yo! Pigeon Walks, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream. Thank you, thank you. Hey, bestie. How you doing? How you feeling? Feeling good? We're feeling swaggy. Misato san? Are you like a detective with one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, I never heard a sign. What on earth do you mean? She keeps yeeting me across the floor every time I. Hello, Pigeon. How are you? I like your name. I love pigeons. 
They're just... They look squishy! Hi! Hi, hi, hi! Life is so unfair. Anyway, to return the matter at hand, the name of this diary belongs to the victim. Yeah. It would appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Try be precise as the details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. You doing good? Yay, I'm good to hear! Pictures are great. They're just... I love them! They're so cute. I love watching them eat little, little fries and stuff. Pigeons. <laughs> a pigeon flew very vicious at me. Oh! Uh-oh. They are kind of spooky when you're in city centers, and they are just the most confident bird you've ever met. And they're just like, you'll be sat there eating, and they're like, oh, let me get some of this bitch. And they just take it, and you're like, okay, I see. But some of them are really cute, and I do like them. Pigeons are like so much more cleaner than rats. Because like, everyone used to call them like, um, like rats of the sky. I think it, people still do call them rats of the sky, but they are literally like so clean. It's in the warehouse upstairs of my work, flew straight at my head. Oh my god. <laughs> it's his house, babes. You're going in his territory. Seen pigeons racing before? It was so weird. What? Because there's like, there's like, pigeons do like, they're these two messages and stuff. They're really smart. Pigeons are smart, right? They're carrier pigeons. They're so cute. And they carry little notes tied to their little legs and they fly around and give messages to people. Imagine if you and your best friend got pigeons and then you sent messages to each other. Wouldn't that be cute? They're like a hundred out of a van, they fly back to where they came from. Yes! Oh my god, yeah, I've seen that sort of thing. I thought you were Japanese. Because they're in what Marvel thing in there that was on Netflix where that guy had a bunch of pigeons that he'd send messages around with? I don't know, once kicked one. Oh my god. I've seen that like story where it's like someone thought it was a football flying towards and they booted it really hard and it was a pigeon. Carrier pigeons are extinct. Well, they're about to not be, guys. I'm gonna get a pigeon. I can't get a pigeon. I wish I could get a pigeon. Just send me a text by a pigeon. Yeah, thank you. Why did they go extinct? I guess no one needed them anymore, but they're so smart. Like, they're so, you can teach them so many things. Like, birds in general are just really smart. Like, I love birds. A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. Sayonara, bonsai, Mikado. Adonado. I trust you're suitably impressed. Ah. Uh, this diary is littered with complicated looking characters, of which I can read precisely none. Is that funny? So what was all that showing off about before then? You would be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Shams. What are we speaking in right now? Are we speaking in English? Monkey Pigeon made me go made them go bankrupt. <laughs> no! Harry Pigeons aren't extinct, they're just not used, so people do breed them for fun. Because they're just small! They're so cute, I love them. I'm much obliged, my dear madam. Final entry here in Kazuma-sama's diary consists of just two short sentences. The first reads, 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. Snake. A whistling sound? Hmm. Very deep waters. Pray, go on. The second sentence reads, 1.35 a.m. Well, it's like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. Speckled band? What does that mean? Snake! Snake in the vent. Do they make pigeon builder bears? Google it right now, Vessie. Google it. And when you pick um, one up, I'm like, you picked a pigeon up? I never heard that expression before. Hmm. Ventilator grill, you say. I was presumably referring to the lattice there on the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Had Darius been updated. Snake. Are we done? Okay. Dude, why'd you do that? <laughs> I believe I've given you enough to consider the for the time being at least. Ah, uh, she has somewhere to go. As it happens, the victim's writing in his diary of piqued my interest. What is this? What? 
The matter warrants further investigation, I believe, and if I'm still too if, if I'm still too long, the seasickness takes hold. Oh. I suppose. I didn't even mean to say I like her. That's how I know they're such a shit. Yes! They're not demons. They're really clean birds. It's like a misconception with pigeons is that they're dirty, but they're really clean. But they're really soft. Squishy squishy. Can you investigate in the cabinet store, which the ventilator connects to? Great detectives are a curious breed. Our minds rebel at stagnation. We crave mental exhalation. So yes, I intend to investigate, hence the truth will become clear soon enough. Do you think, perhaps, that we could go with you? Hmm. No. That would be somewhat complicated. What? But why? A simple glance at your wrist should reveal the We overlaying the farts and the baba boys? And they are mingling? <laughs> no! You are, I don't have that much water left. You kiss one the get night of crack face. Hmm. Someone glance at your wrist to reveal the answer. Oopsies! I do be- I'm so careful. After all, the prime suspect in this matter. No? There's no point trying to turn it into a question. You're the one who decided I was the culprit in this first place. Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking. You, you said it only a moment ago. You mean you are clearly misguided. I have no cause to say such a thing. Why was I about to do that face? I did hear you say that too. Quite sure. Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said that you had the face of a criminal, you know. Not really. So what, were you looking at my knees before? I'm a great detective, you are. My knees, they have faces in. Well, anyway. That was then, and this is now. What do you mean? I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must play the part in convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. We have a tussle! <laughs> Bessie's assuming a lot of things like him be Russian. Literally. What is this? Now he's just been plain rude. Oh, get his soft Go away. He goes, and just laughed in my face. A sense of humour is a Swiss citizen. Now I heard his son. What are you just standing there for? Hmm? We must go and investigate the cabinet store as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? Something. Yeah! No fucking way does she break them. I hate this Herlock guy. I literally hate him. I don't like him. He's not like cute dumb. He's not cute. Dick Gumshoe was like cute dumb. Like he would say stuff and be like, oops, like I accidentally did this thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my god, you're like a golden retriever. I love you so much. You're like like a like a stupid old bulldog thing that just looks really cute and I just want to squish its face and like give it pats and give it treats. This guy, this guy is like like just uh, no. He's like a llama that spits at you. I don't know where that analogy came from. I just I don't want to give him a dog breed because all dog breeds are too nice compared to him. He's so mean. He called me, called me a serial killer. After Kazuma Sama spent his dying moment struggling to live with Cleo, willing to give up? He's gonna roll over and accept your fate? Ugh. He gave me any choice in the rolling over part. Bro. Don't you huggable? Her look is kickable. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Why is she on the ceiling? I got flipped over. I was on the floor, actually. She was the right way up. I think we start some investigation to finish off here first, don't we? Let's carry on examining what we can in this cabin while we wait for a chance to slip next door. Good idea. I examined everything. I looked at everything. The situation doesn't look good for me, but there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this. And bring the real culprit to justice. I looked at everything. 
Didn't I? Do I want to try talking to him again? <gasps> yes! Okay. Um, excuse me? Can I do the thing where I, like, notice that he's, like, nervous about something? Why is he, like, stealing my analogies? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Do you mind if I investigate a little outside? Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes. Not true, I see. Sorry. Criminal asking prisoner god to help him escape. Very funny. In the middle of the sea, there's no chance of me escaping. Yet. Stay in the cabin until next port. Then it is up to Hong Kong police to decide what to do with you. You stay. <laughs> stay. <laughs> All right. There's no more trying to appeal to this man's better nature. That's for sure. Oh, okay. I've looked at everything else. Oh. There's a thing on this table at all. The plate and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. No, wait a minute. What is it? It's funny, I... I seem to remember anything. I... I need to go right real quick before I... That's fine, that's fine. Ask him off from Sherlock him going. Ask him off. How did you let him in here? Uh, I, I can't see anything about half enough to dinner at all. So, so then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to the summer. summit. No, 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 no. Oh hell, man. You just want me to be guilty, don't you? You crazy lady. Okay. I've looked at everything, right? Oh, the door. The lock on the door. I like a rando saying that. Don't transcend. Bruh! Do I have to go in? Okay, hold on. You have 15 minutes. Ah! Okay, I'll get to a stopping point. I'll get to a stopping point. Okay. I love island vibes. The boy land. What if help when the crewman forced the door open? This bolt had been firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy and it just slides across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there will be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. <laughs> no wonder everyone suspects me. She glares at me like that. I feel tense all up and down my spine. Uh, I remember reading once in a detective novel, the culprit used a needle and a thread to draw a bolt across from the outside room in a situation like this. <gasps> yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they're sealed together perfectly. There'd be no possible possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. That's something like that. I feel pins and needles up and all up and down my spine. Why did I say it again? <gasps> ah! It's Bestie. She's on the boat. She's on the boat. Look over there. Remember me? He wasn't there before, was he? But I thought. It's Bestie! Why don't we try talking to him? Probably because I'm likely to get yelled at again. But I suppose I could try. No, oh, it's Bestie. I can. I recognize his hair and his glasses. Hi, Bestie. Is that? Is something wrong there? I heard is that? Oh, no. It's just that Christian standing by the door. I can't help feeling like I've seen him somewhere before. Is he? Because I'm trying to figure out. Because we have we have our Phoenix right. We have our Maya Faye. We have our Miles Edgeworth. No, we don't yet actually. Dead, the one I thought was going to be Miles Edgeworth. Um, no spoilers! He's dead. Disguise? No, this is the detective from the first one. Is, is Herlock Sholmes the killer? No, because he was in like the main title of the, the trailer. Excuse me, sir. Ah! Yes, what can I do for you? <laughs> 
Did he not die from coughing blood? He kept coughing blood, but he he was he was fine. Is it fine? Is it? Ah, I recognize that face, but but it can't be. Yeah, it's him. Ah, it is. I, I knew you were here, Inspector Hosanaga. Ah, Misty. Hi. Hello again. What are you doing here? <laughs> I think that should be my life. I was so stunned when I saw you. My heart stopped. Let's see. Nearly stopped, I hope. Nearly stopped, oops. I received some special orders to go undercover as a member of the crew on board the ship. Again? You certainly seem to enjoy undercover work, Inspector. I see Star as an armor like a waiter. He really does. I, he's just in practice, I guess. If there's anything I can do to help, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board. Perhaps his presence can help me out of this hopeless situation. Do I have to? Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's see what time it is when we finish talking to him. And I might have to go. So what are your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? Undercover, babes. Well, you're not listening. We listen to Hosanaga. I can't believe this. Undercover, babes. I'm so sorry. Hmm? Special police work can't tell me. You gotta go, you my firm. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Good having you, thank you. Bye bye bye. This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. But for what? My orders were to act as a soggy sans bodyguard. What? I knew he was gonna get targeted. It was Minister of Justice. <laughs> Your Viper, please! <laughs> yeah, have a good rest of your day. Bye 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 bye! Jigoku. We pushed for this overseas study talk to go ahead. And he entrusted me with ensuring that Asogi san reached Great Britain without being assassinated. Why would he be assassinated? What is happening? He looks sinister, but in a good way, a hot way, kind of like Phoenix and Apollo. Oh, mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just, you know. Assassinated? How, how could that even be a possibility? Why would he be assassinated? Oh. These are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jigoku said we should be prepared for all eventualities. This is incredible. I, I don't believe it. Kazuma san was assassinated? What the heck? Hello? Obviously, we couldn't give a Soki san invisible security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. See. And I didn't take my eyes off him the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night, every day. I never imagined it would happen here, inside his own cabin. Not here in the first class deck. Adventure from the first case, is it the swan? <gasps> it's Derek the swan. He's come. He's come to kill him. <laughs> and he's succeeded. I didn't mean to click that. Let's see. Let's see. I felt miserably at minus Simon and Asogi said is dead as a result. It's the baby! <laughs> I'm in disgrace. Ah! Inspector. If there's anything at all I can do to help now, just say the word. Okay, so he doesn't think it's me either. I'm, yeah, thank you. We're doing what we can to investigate Kazuma's death ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? Not the killer. Of course not. Why would he literally? Why is anyone? We'd really like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes, we need to be allowed out of this cabin. I can't do that. I'm sorry. What? You've been deemed a risk to the ship's safety if you move to even touch the handle of the cabin door. That stormy looking seaman that would surely snap your neck into. I suppose I'm not just a stowaway now, they think I'm a murderer as well. Go through the vent! <laughs> Would it be possible to give me something to work with, do you think? I'm going to need something persuasive. What do you mean? If I had a solid reason why the next door cabin should be investigated, for example, I'd do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it, really. I'd lay my life on the line if I had to. But I don't see how... 
Sorry, stop! <laughs> Please. There may be a way. What? Really? Think of how you tried to persuade me of your innocence, Naruhoda san, by presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already had in your possession. Evidence? It's just the same as when you were in court. You must have done it many times during your trial. Yeah, okay. I this is a walkthrough of the of the like part of the game where you investigate stuff. So they present this like camel and choose some evidence that Inspector Hosanaga could use. So evidence that would give us a viable reason to investigate the next door cabin, is it? Alright, yes, I I think I might know what we can use. Let's see if I can present the detective with the evidence that he needs to persuade the captain. Um, okay. It's the book, right? This It's Kazuma's diary. Not girlfriend bread. I know we said last time we both we both want it's girlfriend bread, but it's not girlfriend bread, it's Ow! <laughs> Just before he died, Kazuma Sara wrote something rather strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote, What well, looks like some kind of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, yeah, so we're still trying to work out what he meant by that, but what I'd like to know is. Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? Please stop saying vent. This whole thing is full of vent. You're very astute, Inspector. The vent! Ventilator clearly joins the next door cabin. Vent? This ventilator clearly joins the next door cabin. <laughs> That's right. So if we could investigate in there, we might be able to work out what the speckled band was. Can be a bunch of animals next door? Please, can there be a bunch of animals next door? Alright then. Can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. Really? You're willing to do that? As long as you don't leave the first class cabin area, I'm afraid I can't remove those handcuffs then. But what about the captain? Aren't you going against his direct orders? I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. For all. I failed to keep a Sogi san safe. This is the least I can do. Thank you. Let's seize the moment then, Naruto san. Ah! Just let it move. I know. Alright. See what we can find now. Okay. Here we go. We'll go to the next room and then I'll leave it there. Um, first class passageway. Oh. Anyone in, out here? The heck is on the floor? Ah! Okay. I'm finally out of that cabin. I have to admit, this isn't quite what I was expecting. It's less spacious out here than I thought it would be. This is the most luxurious accommodation. Yes, indeed. Zuma Sama was being sent out on his studies before by the government. That's why he was being put up in the first class cabin. And still, this is about as twice as large as my accommodation is steerage. Really? Must be awful. Ah! Over there. I see another crewman keeping watch. He looks enormous, even sitting down. He's in a little crop top. The door next to him leads to the second class class accommodation. I suppose he's making sure that no one comes in here who shouldn't. I suppose. Like people in handcuffs? Yo, shine! Mr. Please. <laughs> now, Hosan, you look like a little boy visiting a toy shop for the first time. I thought... I would have thought you'd be used to this shit by now. We've been at sea for two weeks already. Well, yes, I know, but the thing is... I was inside Kazuma's trunk when I first came across. And ever since then, I've been shut up inside that little wardrobe. How are you, shine? It must have been a very a trying time for you. Please don't give me that pitying look. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to leave it there, Shine. You joined when I was gonna leave. I have to go. No. Okay. I have to leave it there. Leave my game. 
Um, nah, but yeah, I've got a good shine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hopefully, um, on Saturday, um, I might be streaming for a little bit longer. Um, so, at least you were here. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you saying hello. Um, but, um, yeah. On Saturday, I should stream for a bit longer, so if you're here around this time again on Saturday, I should still be, like, playing live for a little bit. Um, so, that will be fun and fresh and good. Um, I love you. Tootin! You tootin' on me? You just got here and you tootin' on me already? Can't believe this. Can't believe the slander, baby. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but yeah, um, again, very, very intrigued by this case. Very excited to see how it goes. Um, still don't know. Still don't know who I suspect, but we'll figure it, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys. I'm doing the good. Say all night. Where you are in the world. Um, and I will see you on Saturday. Uh, with with something. Um.